There you go, George. Challenge accepted and achieved, I guess. We found it. Well, at least we didn't go like two miles completely out of our way to find it. It's quite far up the brook, so it's quite close to the water boat, actually. Not a big walk at all. We could have been here hours ago. <laughs> but that wouldn't be the summit or nothing way. Weather's been lovely, not too hot, not too cold. Light breeze, no filming issues. Um, so any minute now, something's gonna go hideously wrong. <laughs> Yesterday, I bought a bottle pack because I thought it'd be better than trying to fit all the water in my bag and keep getting it out when I need a drink. So I bought one of these bladders. I rinsed it out about 58 times yesterday and it still tastes like drinking straight TCP. Uh, what do you make of your uh, water pouch from the Mountain Warehouse? Well, it would be good, I reckon, if it wasn't so disgusting. It is TCP. It's probably disinfecting my mouth. Do you think um, you might clean your language up a bit? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Use my water if you wanted. All you've done all morning is moan about how shit that water tastes and how it tastes like disinfectant and chemicals and this, that and the other. It's our first coffee stop of the day and you really expect me to put that in there and make my cup of coffee out of it. You can f*** right off. What has transpired is I've got terrible gas. So, uh... And it's raining we're... out. <laughs> and it's raining, so everything's sealed up. So what we're doing is using my vape to uh, counteract the stench. <laughs> The dog now has got gas. It smells like a dog shit in here. Nice. It's fine. I love camping. Cracking views. Oh, I love that more. Oh, you plan the route. The best pl made plans of mice and men, or I don't even know what the words are. End up with like a thousand monkeys in a room writing Shakespeare. Let's do that. So, might have done another classic summit or nothing moment. Um, it's in a cafe, we were both talking about food. We've left ourselves a bit short on time for getting to the jetty to catch the boat back to the car. <sighs> yeah, this road seems longer than we thought, so now we're running to get the, <laughs> the boat. I feel like Challenge Annika, or um, what was the other one called? No. Do you know the one with the bloke? He had the black coat on. Oh, and he's running. Yeah. And oh, the he's people had to hunt people. The people had the money in the backpack. He just go. Ah! Ah! It was the interceptor. Called the interceptor. Oh, we just got down so far. Let's go out have a look on the lake. Only to realise that there's nothing down here. We've reread the guide. We're going to go back. Summer or nothing! Is this it? 
And with incredible suddenness, a terrible storm blew in with ferocious winds, thunder and lightning. The congregation cowered in their pews and then with a loud explosion and I am sure fire brimstone and the smell of sulphur, the devil appeared through a hole in the roof of the tower, seized Jan by the scruff of his neck and before anyone could move, shot back to the top of the tower where he had tied his horse to one of the pinnacles taking the hapless Jan with him. With a final thunderbolt, the devil rolled off with Jan in tow. Well, that was the legend of Jan Reynolds. Good old Jan. I hope you enjoyed it. Night, night. <laughs> so you like my story about Jan Reynolds last night and the devil? I heard he tell us about Jan and selling his I said, did he sell his soul to the devil, old John Reynolds, and be selling his soul again of it? Good old John, be selling your soul again of it, boy. Is that what we've been paid? Been selling his soul? Would you like some translations? Either end is, uh, yes, I reckon. Yes, I reckon it is. That's just the way on. Yes, that's just the way of him. Ten as good as twas. <laughs> Isn't as good as it was. Dre. 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 Forgot about Dre. I forgot about three. The number three. So when I say Dartmoor Dre Six Bab, that's Dartmoor Three Six Five. You mares as a brish. You're as crazy as a brush. Then I'm by as full as an egg. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just the way on. It's just the way on around you. <laughs> when you stop you feel all the chills coming in but you don't want to wrap up because two minutes later you'll be unwrapping again <laughs> but them uh, sun bites again have you yeah. The main reason being, when we go on an overnight hike, I buy a bag of like trail mixed with cranberries or something in it, and then I'll divide it into Ziploc bags, and then I'll allocate myself a certain amount for each day. But if we go for a day hike, and I do that, the rest of it just ends up going to waste. Mm. And if, you know, if there's one thing I hate, it's wasting food, like, you know? I haven't looked to see if they're more expensive to buy it like this, but that is a convenient sized pouch that I can eat without wasting any. I love cranberries. One minute, 15 seconds for a yes or no answer. <laughs> Do good. <laughs> What's going on, Trev? Well, you know what I was saying about why I don't like camping? Yeah. Because trying to get, get everything out of your bag, you're trying to get in. I've took three things out of my bag and I just can't get back in for the life of me. Well, why not? They just won't fit back in there. I can't get the zip up with them in. Yeah. It looks like you're making a bit of a meal out of it, mate, to be honest. Oh, oh easy that time. Buckles just crap. Just flimsy. They don't go in properly, they go off centre and they catch and then they pop away, pop out. It's cheap. <coughs> I need to get back in there because I need to swap the battery over so we ain't gonna have enough for filming I don't think this afternoon. Ha 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 
Uh, I love him. You gotta love him, innit? Yeah? <laughs> Watching a video the other night about going stoveless. So we've been using the jet boil, the jet boil zip, which I quite like. And before that, I had the MSR reactor. See him back there <coughs> doing his monologues, talking about a camping stove. It's quite clear that I can create something myself. It might not be as effective in the wind, you know, it might not be as efficient on gas, but sometimes you've got to weigh up the pros and cons. The old knife. He waffles on for like 20 minutes to get to the point. Uh, I edit it down to about 30 seconds. Uh, that's where I should get paid for my job, editing Nate's monologues. Is the stove totally necessary on a day hike? Interesting question. He starts the conversation and he goes and they're off on a tangent and he comes around and back. So I edit his works by finding all the key points he's trying to make, putting them in the right order. Would a flask have been more apt on this occasion? You know, the flask itself is gonna be heavy. It's gonna contain liquid. You'll probably wanna bring water as well. So I can hear him back there now and I'm thinking, yeah, it's all right, you talking all this. I've got to, I've got to edit this. I don't always reply to the messages that are sent on our videos. Uh, I've got a very sort of small footprint when it comes to social media. Sometimes I, <laughs> I go through it and I think, I don't really know what you were trying to say there, Nate. We'll leave that for now. Uh, strange little woods, loads of boulders in there. It's like, it only looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. I know we said that before. Found up Blackator Cops. But it's, uh, oh, it's something else. One of three stunted oak forests on Dartmoor. The name Wistman could be a corruption of Celtic words meaning Usig Main Coed, meaning a stony wood by the water, which is exactly what it is. It is a fascinating and mysterious place with a ghostly feel to it. But it's twisted trees, mosses and lichens all intermingled with huge rocks and boulders in which there are small caverns and grottos. Well, we're up and running here. Oh. Uh, Hello. Taking a few little pictures. It's not quite dark enough yet. You can still see the sky behind us here. Amazing colours and that. And we're shooting towards the city and the moon at the moment. But it's only because I'm just tinkering around seeing what's happening. Um, at five seconds, it seems to be a good time to have the aperture open. It's giving me some nice shots. How's it going, mate? Good, mate. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. I've taken about six photos, two of them are really good the rest are really bad yeah it's all trial and error isn't it yeah. i've set mine to longer oh, i've done so different i only moved the camera slightly time at the minute probably too much moon light for this sort of photography <laughs> how are you getting on stan yeah all right i've got some oh, let's just have it here. have to share them to the dartmoor facebook page yeah the stand's been playing around with his camera and he's standing in front of the camera at the moment and taking weird shots of him in there and they're coming out. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty awesome. It's cool. God stand over the Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I started to think my foot was getting a bit wet. See that? I can walk in my Nikes, can't I? I was going to say, I've got Crocs you can buy for tomorrow if you want. Buy a Crocs? Yeah, i got... I'd never wear Crocs. We try to say? Never that? wear Crocs. Just for a walk around the lake? No. <laughs> It'd be alright, wouldn't it? No. Well, I think they're very practical footwear. I never wear Crocs. See this? This little fence. Stopped him dead in his tracks. This guy has to go up mountains. <laughs> I got over the fence easy. I don't know what you make it such a fuss about. It's easy. I just didn't want to jump with me back. I'm sort of all rigid like that because I can't f***ing move my head back. When you're stiff like that and you jump, more likely to do yourself a mischief. You just like to feel a bit more flexible. I was like, <laughs> so they say on impact, it's best to be relaxed, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why I got rid of my backpack. I just stepped over it. 
animals and that I get and um, you know everything else Disney does and uh, don't record this shit I don't want to fucking put that on there that's just back. what I would he's talking about why he doesn't like cars he doesn't get the idea of a, a Porsche getting it on with a NAS car that's what he said he said the animals he can understand talking animals it's fine not not cars it's overstepped a boundary that isn't it it seems a bit weird doesn't it cars yeah I don't know I liked it she's got that little fucking bit of she's cute brushing. though isn't she <laughs> if you had to with a car that'd be her wouldn't it Fantastic cape. And the kit bag. Oh, I think we ought to do a kit review. Yeah, totally do a kit mm. review. I've got this Glide shade for, you know, doing the whole contouring and the definition. Fantastic. I've got a little bit of a rouge blush brush here. That's for you when you're feeling a little bit pale and peaky. Cool. And my hair serum. So we're not doing a heist. Oh, I've plaited my hair. Eek. Better go get changed. Yep. Oh well, start again. Fuel protein quark with fruit. What the hell quark is, I don't know. It smells palatable. It's quite fruity, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect of it. In the first mouthful, it's all like, <laughs> <laughs> what's going in my mouth? But after that, well, it reminds me of my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's making the cut, didn't you? I think we found the bog to the east. All this here. So we just want to go under it, perhaps. You're going up and around to get there. You're east. I'm going to try going the bottom way. I'll meet you in there. Boggy. I haven't got my gaiters on. Well, Nafe's made it. I should have just followed Nafe. He's getting comfy. He's setting up camp waiting for me. Ah, it was going well for me until this bit here. I've only got to get across this. I want to tread in there. Hmm. Do you know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to end up having to walk around to get to him. I hate it when he's right. So Trev has um, been walking around the outside of the uh, Brown's house for some time. Didn't want to follow me around to the east. Yes, there was a bog there, but... I was pretty much there already, but here he is. Without getting wet. <sighs> I've bought another book, um, John L's Walking on Dartmoor. I'd just like to say, Walking on Dartmoor by John L. What a brilliant publication. It was nice because it was telling us things about the moor that we wouldn't have known, we wouldn't have seen necessarily of our own. It features heavily in our video. At the beginning of this book, John L's book, there's this interesting bit where it tells you about how Dartmoor is formed. So I read that, I 
posted that up online. Yeah, the Devonian period occurred 400 million years ago and lasted about 50 million years. Well, the first comments I got on that video was someone saying, did you know that John Earl has just been arrested for historical sex offence? Yeah, so that's how we monumentally fucked that up. Not having a heart attack in your foot or nothing? No, 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 I think, um, no, it's just pins and needles. Do you, uh, need to loosen your boot off then? No, no, I think if it, you know, if, if it falls off, my foot falls off, I'll just grow a new one back, won't I? Aye. They're like, they're like teeth, aren't they? You get like a child set and an adult set. But you ain't still got your child set, Yeah, I've, yeah, I've still got, still got my child feet, so I figure I've got a set to go. Oh, yeah, they must, must be due to fall off soon, then. Well, with all this walking, I would have thought... Yeah, pushing them along a bit. Yeah, they come to yeah. the end of the... Well, I had to have foot braces, because mine was growing... Cricket. ...over my old set. <laughs> and my new set was pushing my old set out. And it was pushing my feet crooked, like... And that's why I bought, like, a London wide boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. with my feet pointing outwards. So what are your adult ones like? Are they better? They're all right, but like I say, now I walk, like... My feet are like a 90 degree angle to each other. You see that? We're meant to be delirious on the way down the mountains, aren't we? <laughs> it's been a long weekend. It's like, a, it's like a mini Snowdonia, you know, when we was at the foot of Snowdon near that train station, as we started to climb up the lake with the tall mountains in the background, obviously this is a much more modest version of it, you know, all right, it might be to scale, but it's got it all, isn't it, really? It's beautiful. We're going back again. The campsite down there, but we was walking over there. But now we think we've been past the path. You look down there; it's like a sheer drop. It's pissing me off a bit. I hate the mist. I'm fair weather fucking hiker. Fuck off, mist. You're doing my head in. Trev said, uh, "Hold the camera up a bit more, so there's scenery and views." Well. In this shithole, it's got absolutely no relevance whatsoever. Boggy depression, it's been described as in the book that Trevor's reading. Uh, anyway, so is it the first ever letterbox ever? Or is it the first letterbox on Dartmoor? I don't know. But somebody was having a fing laugh, weren't they? What a fing shit place to put it. You know? Let's, um, I don't know. I'm surprised that letterboxing even took off if this was the first one. I'm surprised it even become popular. But I don't get I don't get it. Why there's a letterbox here. I mean, who'd come all this way to post a f letter anyway? Stupid and stupid. It? Postman was not work if this was the first letterbox. You know, everyone had to come here to put their letters in it. Nah, Royal Mail was doomed from the start, wasn't it? No, yeah, wasn't it? We're still going. <laughs> Nave, it's been a bit of a <laughs> excuse my French. It's just off. It's, oh, something or nothing, something or nothing. Well, all f***ing day I wanted to go up a mountain. This morning I was like, we should be going up a mountain. He didn't want it. He was tired. 
I just kept thinking there's a way. Now I'm up going up, but you ain't got to be so much of a prick about it. Fucking off like that. And there he goes, he's off again. He's had to stop and he's off. Started as a bit of a joke when we was down the bottom, feeling all fresh. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's just go for a walk into the mountains again on a Sunday evening. Oh, we couldn't have been more wrong. I don't know if you can see down there now, but that old grandpa's got a bell of a sack on him like we have, eh? He wears the old same sack as us there. Bell of a sack of old grandpa sack on the back. Have you seen the grandpa sack on him ever, mate? He's no. got a hell of a saggy grandpa sack. He's got for a young sack, man, isn't he? Saggy old grandpa sack. He's grinding on him. Would you Just like to hold it? Have a cup in my grandpa sack. <laughs> It looks amazing from here. It looks like a, a little model village. Beautiful little place. A beautiful little town. Little village. You've not seen anything like it. So scenic. Right, one of the trick points we can see it was this. That's the trick point. as opposed to the summer of nothing. Go on, let's just do it. Summer of nothing! Summer of nothing! Summer of nothing! In the Brecon Beacons. In the Brecon Beacons! Beacons. 